Okay, how's it going? So I'm going to show you how to do multiple filters. So you see we have data set of 10. You apply filter and then it filters um, multiple filters. Okay, so let's say, okay, we want a red car that is available to rent and has no more than 250 miles, right? And we can, you see, we can select also filters reset, right? So let's say we want any car, no more than 250, right? No more than 100, you see? And we want color, let's say, CM. Do you see like this data is being filtered? So... I'll show you how to do it with a data set. Okay, so um, everything you need to know is in this file here, and I'm gonna link it in the description below, so you can you can see it. Okay, and I'll I'll, I'll tell you straight away where the shortcut is. This forum here is the shortcut. That's where you will find the algorithm. Most of the time, the one you're going to need is going to be filter plane array, this one here, All right? You can basically copy and paste this code and it's going to work. And it works with infinite number of properties of an object, like unlimited amounts. You can put, I don't know, a million if you want, it will still work. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do it manually in Visual Studio Code. Okay, one sec. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my data, like you can find it in here, so you can copy and paste it and follow what I'm doing, right? So we're not gonna be exporting anything, so we need to go in here and let's create a, um, let's create a helper function. Helper one. Let's do JavaScript. Okay, so let's copy and paste the data. So the extension you need is Quokka. So this way it will console log information for you. So you don't have to manually do it, right? Okay, so how to do basic, absolutely complete basic filtering. So you go to here you see filter plane array so you take all of this code including this one make sure you have this function as well so just copy and paste it i'm not gonna go through the logic it's just it's um it's already pre-made for you so you don't have to think about it right now remove all this junk in here kind of well, not junk comments right my apologies comments okay All right, so now this is the function and we need to use it. So let's say let A equals run the function. So the array that we're going to be passing is going to be your data set, right? So this is going to be cars JSON. You can put whatever the hell you want into this. It doesn't matter. Okay, so second argument is going to be let filters equals and then we apply our filters it's very important that the keys in the object or properties whatever you want to call them match otherwise it's not going to naturally it's not going to filter all right so let's say we want um let's say color yellow all right so we put in color um it has to be an array it has to be an array okay so yellow right and then we do filters like this and now we can console log a and you will see that we're only gonna have yellow cars you see so console log a length so the total length of the array is 10 from the start right so if we remove any filter 
Now the cool thing about it, if there is nothing in it, it will automatically filter for you. So there is 10, right? So if we go yellow, there is two. I know there is single orange car, right? So let's see if it filters, right? Orange, orange like this. So you see it filters. So you can see the extension again is called Quokka. So you, you can see the output straight away. Okay, so let's say we want um, additional filter. So let's say we want, is it rented out? So we have two values, either available or not available. Again, it's the same, it's the same thing. Rented out, let's say a V. Oh, whoops, my apologies. Like this, available. So you see we have four available cars. We can also do not available. We have six not available cars. All right, so let's say you want to have multiple filters. Okay, so we want cars that are red and yellow and not available, right? So yellow and in here in my one it's red is actually light coral color coral or whatever it's called because um i've done it because it looks better in the ui right it's basically if you look into my um where's my local host Yeah, you see, like, if you click, the color is, like, light coral looks better, because if it's red, it just looks disgusting. That's why I put it like that. Also, if you see blue, it's like cyan. So, just, just be aware that when it says blue, you actually have light cyan. Okay, so let's say we want to add also light cyan. So, let's go into here. And we'll add like this. So you see we have four cars and let's remove so now we have seven cars so you can see in the console log that we have red red blue yellow yellow red you see it correctly filters there is no orange in here so let's say we want to remove red and just keep yellow and blue which is going to be, you see, blue, blue, yellow, yellow. Does that make sense? And that's it. That's that's pretty much all you do. You're like you're, you're pretty much done. Now, the only other thing I need to show you is how to do... Um, and again, okay, let's do... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The next one is how to do range. So let's say you have... Um, let's say you have something like values, I don't know, prices or whatever, um, quantities, whatever you want, right? Okay, so again, we go into here, right? And you need to find control F and find range. Yeah. So you see, you need this function here. So we take the function, we put the function into anywhere here you want, like anywhere you want, right? We're gonna use it range, right? So now you need to put in here, so let's say uh, we're looking for miles. Now it could be price, it could be quantity, whatever you want, right? Price, now apply the function range, starting point, well, let's say 25,000 and then ending point, 200,000. Well, let's do 200,000. So you see, it finds any car that has zero to 200 range. Now, note the problem in here is that it does not include 200. If you want to include 200, then you need to add one like this right so you see now we have car with 200 as well so you can either do it <coughs> in here or 
you can do it inside the function. So just put like this plus one. It will also work. It's up to you. So you see now it includes 200. So you basically need to add one somewhere. Either when you're passing the argument or adding it plus one in here. Logically, the best way to do it would be to put it in here. That's the way I've done it. But again, it's up to you. You can play around with it, do whatever the hell you want. Okay, so... Now, the problem you're going to run into... So, pretty much at this point, you're done. Right? You're pretty much done. That's that's all there is to it. You just copy and paste the function. You know how to do range. You know how to do... Let's say... I don't know, yellow. Okay, so we'll probably need to increase this to 400. Yeah. So it found... Okay, so now you know how to do all of this mumbo jumbo. Now, the only problem you're gonna run into is... I'll show you. You see, when the value is any, it's a little bit tricky to handle it. Right, so I'll show you how I've done it. Uh, I'm apologizing straight away, the code is gonna be heavy, so for people who are, you know, new to JavaScript, my apologies in advance, okay? So, what you do is, so these are the filters, right? So I'm using React, right? So every time you swap the value, every time you swap the value, state changes. So my state controls these values here, right? So that's that's going to be your state, okay? And from here we can create conditional, conditional states, right? So example, right? So we have color. If condition is any, we're going to return an empty array. Because we know that when there is empty array, let's replicate it, like, right? Let's let replicate. What's going to happen if we put an empty array? We know that when we pass in an empty array, it, it simply cancels the filter. Does that make sense? So it cancels the filter. So all you have to do is if there are any type of values that you have, like, I don't know, select, um, you know, any default value that just does not apply the filter, pass the empty array into it. And that's it. That's all you do. So you see, if color value is any or color value is empty string, which is our default load of state. So you see, when state loads, it's uh, there's nothing in it, right? So you pass an empty array or you pass the array with values in it. And that's it. That's how you do it. I'm actually going to put it into the notes. Yeah, because I don't have it in the notes. I don't think I have it in here. Yeah, I'll add it in here, which is going to be like um, handling any value in the filters. So we're going to make it like this. Like fundamentally, you'll be always working with this filter object because this is kind of like the most important thing in this thingy so and that's the code basically so fundamentally if you pass um i don't know filter name i.e empty array it will cancel the filter i.e. not apply anything
like I hope it makes sense because if you look at the code, if you look at the actual code, you will see that that's the case. If filter has nothing in it, i.e. it's empty, it will return true, therefore it will pass the value. Like you, you probably gonna have to sit down and break down how this, the logic of this thing works. It's gonna probably take you like a couple of hours to figure out, because it's it's a heavy algorithm. It's not like super heavy, but I mean it's it's quite heavy. It's it's not like super straightforward. Okay, so that's it done. If you have any questions, link in the description below. Like and subscribe, and hit the notification or whatever it's called. Right, it's very helpful for algorithm. Take care. Bye bye.